Still thinking about buying or selling in 2022 in Venice, California? Well, my friends, you have come across the right video as we're about to dive into the numbers for quarter two, comparing them to quarter one to see exactly where we were, where we are, and where we're going into 2022 for the rest of the year so you, as a buyer or seller, can find ultimate success in this market despite the interest rates, despite the recession, and despite the inflation. Keep it dialed in. We're going to show you exactly how to be a success still as a buyer or seller in 2022 in Venice, California's real estate market. Press the button and the go up channel everyone super stoked to have you joining me today if this is your first time to the channel my name is eric haas with sotheby's international realty here on the west side of los angeles and i'm here to deliver value in the way of providing a transparent picture of what our west side real estate markets are doing in 2022 and that was last week with mar vista this week with venice we got Santa Monica coming, Brentwood and Palisades to follow. But before I jump into it with these quarter two versus quarter one numbers for Venice and seeing where that market is going for quarter three and into quarter four, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and especially subscribe. I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers. I'm at 825 right now. That might be up since this was recorded, but hey, I am looking to get over a thousand and this is why I'm doing it as well for everyone out there to provide value. So your support would go a long way to making that happen. So without further ado, let's get into Venice. Alrighty guys, let's jump into part one of four. We're taking a look at the number of active listings, the number of pendings, and the number of sold homes for Venice, California, quarter two versus quarter one to see exactly where this market has been going since having such an explosion of a hot seller's market that we've been experiencing from the beginning of this year and well into last year as well since the pandemic has cooled off. But as we can see right here from the start, there's major facts going on right now, and it's showing that there's an increase in inventory happening in Venice compared to quarter one, where we had 46 homes for sale, an increase of 50% now at 69 homes for sale in Venice. And that is not necessarily a good thing at all for sellers because they're going to definitely have to be more conscious and more competitive with their pricing with more supply or competition on the market going up against them and piling up on a weekly basis. Now, what does that mean for buyers? Well, this puts you in a great position because out of the 69 homes that are currently available for sale in Venice, 19 have already taken at least one price reduction. So buyers, pay attention to those price reductions. We've got tips coming right at you in part one, and this is something that you need to pay attention to to capture that dream home you've been looking for. Now, the number of pending homes compared to quarter one is down 31%, 29 in quarter one, 20 in quarter two. And this just goes again to show you that the higher interest rates, inflation, and possibility of a recession are starting to have an impacting uh, result on what's happening in our marketplaces. We saw that in Mar Vista. We are definitely seeing it in Venice, but there is another little bit of an issue that we have in Venice that is not so prominent everywhere else, and that is the homeless situation. And unfortunately, you see it every which way you turn in Venice. It's not something that's hidden, um, but we definitely need to find a solution for our brothers and sisters out there that are on the street because this homeless situation is just way out of control. And, you know, the money that is available needs to start being used for that. But let's not get off topic. You can see, though, just demand is not happening. And either buyers are sitting on the sideline as a result or they're finding that their purchasing power just isn't what it is and they're having to consider different neighborhoods. Now, if we look at the number of sold listings compared to you know quarter one, it's not too far different. Again, but this is quarter two solds and the higher interest rates, the recession and inflation weren't really having much of an impact in quarter two as they are now into quarter three. All right, guys, let's get into part two where we've got some more crazy information to dissect for Venice and its market and where it's going. And we're taking a look at right now, the median active, the median pending, and the median sold price. And uh, you see right off the bat that the median active price has taken a 23% increase from quarter one at 3 million to 3.7 million now in quarter two. Now, that could be substantiated, that could not be substantiated. The only numbers that are gonna share whether or not that is substantiated is the median pending price and the median sold price. And there is a $1.2 million differentiation between that median active and the median pending. And that is not a good thing, my friends. When the median pending price is at that point and there's so much of a difference of $1.2 million, 
that is sharing right there that sellers are overpricing their homes right now in the Venice market, which means price reductions are still going to be on the horizon. I already mentioned 19 of those happening already, and only more are going to come if this number isn't radically adapted and changed ASAP. So you gotta come on the market day one at the right price, or you're gonna be sitting and you're gonna be just contributing to this number, which doesn't have any relevance whatsoever when the median pending price is at 2.5 million. Now I get it, 2.5 million pending price rose 4% from quarter one, that was at 2.4 million, not a real big difference. But then we look at our median sold price at 2.1 million. Now that is a huge difference, 1.6 million between the median sold price and the median active price. Again, this is going to put buyers in a very opportunistic position to capitalize on these sellers who are not paying attention to the fact that the market is changing. Interest rates are up, recession is here, inflation is here, whatever you wanna call it, the market is changing. Buyers still don't have the same buying power that they had just three or four months ago. And a lot of them are sitting on the sidelines or finding themselves completely priced out of the market and looking into other neighborhoods. So sellers, be smart with your price. And again, that median sold price of 2.1, we didn't even get to this. That's 16% less than what it was in quarter one at 2.5 million. So again, price is going to be very much of a topic moving forward in 2022, especially in this Venice market. Moving right along into part three, we're covering the sold volume, the average days on market, and the sold price versus the list price in Venice quarter one versus quarter two. And as you see right there, buyer demand has definitely slowed down as the sold volume has dropped 41% from 185 million in quarter one to 108 million in quarter two. Again, this has everything to do with interest rates right now and the unfortunate fact that Venice tends to overprice their homes in pretty much any type of market we face. Because even in a hot seller's market, there was a lot more sellers reducing their price and not going over the asking price as we would anticipate, finding buyers more in the driver's seat in this particular neighborhood. Now, if we look at the average days on market though, that doesn't seem to paint the same picture. But again, I think this plays to the fact that those sellers who did price right found themselves selling ultra fast, which really had a blessing impact on this average days on market because most of the homes are not selling over the asking price, aren't selling in the first week, but those that did definitely had a nice impact on the average days on market because it's down 44% from 57 in quarter one. Now, if we look at our sole price versus list price, we're gonna see another instance of sellers being smart with their pricing. Now, I don't know what quarter three is going to foretell, but right now, based on those numbers and that median active price at 3.7 million, I'm gonna say that this number is going to adjust. Now, mind you, if you watch the quarter one Venice market update, I told you this number was going to increase and it in fact did by 2%. Not a ton, but hey, we're now over 100% of the asking price in Venice if you price your home smart. If you don't, buyers are gonna win. If you do, it's still a hot seller's market Invest. All right, guys, I hope you made it to part four because this happens to be my favorite part of the video because we get absolutely black and white clear about where this market is going as we take a look at the number of homes that sold over the asking, at asking, and below the asking price in Venice, quarter one versus quarter two. And let's like take a look at it right now. And you see that there has been a drop, supposedly a hot seller's market, but not so much with this higher interest rate recession and inflation. It has dropped from 24 to 21, but more importantly, is not that 13% drop, but it's the number of homes that this 24 accounts for. That's 34% of the market that sold in quarter one, sold above the asking price. Whereas in quarter two, only 29% of the homes that sold, which was 72, sold over the asking price represented by that 21. Now let's take a look at the number of homes that sold at the asking price. And that has taken a drop as well from seven in quarter one, to five in quarter two, a 28% drop. But again, that's not the major number to focus on. When we're looking at things, 70 homes sold in quarter one, and out of those 77 sold at the asking price, accounting for 10% of all the homes that sold in quarter one sold at the asking price. If we take a look at the number of homes sold at asking in quarter two, it was five. That number accounts for 7% of all the homes that sold in quarter two that sold at the asking price. And you can see that is a 3% drop as well. Taking a look at the number of homes sold below asking quarter one and quarter two, we see 
an increase of 18%. Hey, I'm not shocked by this. That median pending price of 3.7 million is not helping any seller out there. As we see the number of sold below ask rise from 39 to a total of 18% to 46 homes selling in quarter two below the asking price. Now that 39 actually accounted for 56% of the 70 homes that sold in quarter one, as opposed to 46, which actually accounts for 64% of the 72 homes that sold in quarter two. So there is a 8% difference now in an increase in the number of homes selling below the asking price. That is not a good statistic for any seller or seller that's coming on the market because that 98% sold list price versus uh, list price that went up 2% to 101% for quarter two may in fact see itself coming down quite fiercely in quarter three. So we're definitely gonna have to pay attention. But overall, this Venice market is calling for buyers to keep their attention on the market because there are going to be some deals to be had. You've got to pay attention to those price reductions. That is exactly where you are going to find that deal. Sellers, if you want to avoid that price reduction, price your home correctly from day one. I've said it throughout the video. It's only going to work in your benefit and find you getting the most money in your pocket at the end of the day. So just do it like Nike says, right? Anyways, my friend, that wraps it up. Hope you found tremendous value in this Venice update for quarter two. I think quarter three is going to be very interesting and be more of a balance or even slightly tilting towards a buyer's market. So if there's any a chance or time I can help you guys out, if you're thinking about buying or selling here on the West side, please don't hesitate to reach out. More than happy to help you out. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. If you haven't done so already, make sure to like and subscribe because you know I'm trying to get to that thousand and above. I'm at 825. Help me get there with your support. Completely appreciate it. Stay blessed, have a great one, and I'll see you on the next video where we cover Santa Monica.